Caddis Max was here this time with a uh, and Puds. This is a promotional product that was sent to me for free by well and Puds, same company as Vanpo or a subsidiary that's making these digital torque wrenches. I took this as a promo product because I wanted a little digital quarter inch drive torque wrench, and that's what this was. We got a little peel here, and to tell you the truth. I think the torque wrench is okay. I think um, that for a normal price of 80 bucks and like $65 on sale, I'll have a link in the description, is a bit pricey. It only goes to 200, and, well, it's 266, 265 inch pounds, which is about 22 foot pounds. So it's definitely a low value unit. But I do like the bright LEDs. I like the inverse screen, which is actually. Uh, not super great on the off angle, but of course you have lights, sound, and it actually it vibrates, which is another thing, which did intrigue me a lot. All these digital torque wrenches, they'll have some kind of lights. I have a Quinn, this Harbor Freight, which uh, apparently works better, and I gave well, I was a little harsh about its torque angle capabilities, which is one thing this little one doesn't do is torque angle, but at a 265 inch pounds, a high precision, low value torque wrench. Um, it's understandable when you do torque angle because torque angle is really used for much uh, higher values of torque. But of course, like with this, it does beep, but it just has a little tiny red light here. Not the easiest to see, and it's only a five button. Where this is a six button, an extra, extra, extra button, excuse me, actually makes it a little bit easier to use. And that's the deal with this, is it's kind of the complement or go along. I have these little like this little Indestro quarter inch, but only goes to 120 inch pounds. It's accurate, it's a deflecting beam. But you have to make sure you can get a nice view on it. It doesn't have a ratcheting head, so it has some uh, challenges in many situations to using this. And maybe that's part of the deal with the cost, is just the expense of what's known as the Wheatstone Bridge on this. How it works is, this has a metal rod here. It's kind of weird. It's skeletonized, but it actually seems to be uh, decent grade materials. We do have a little O-ring between this battery compartment. I should mention before I turn that off, it does use AAA batteries. Pretty easy to replace. That is an aluminum cap. It uses one of these like little battery carriages. And initially I was a little bit annoyed, but I thought, you know, that's okay. These battery carriages are like at, with the one nub or like a universal standard. All these cheap and giveaway flashlights that use three AAAs always seem to have these kind of battery carriages. So whatever gets broke or, or anything like that, it's actually pretty easy to replace. How these work is there's actually a sticker that has a very fine piece of wire. It's very long, zigzags back and forth. Actually, it would probably be on the side. And as you put load on this, what ends up happening is that sticker with that long piece of wire, it's called a wheat, they use an electronic circuit called a wheat stone bridge or something similar. And it's able to see the extremely microscopic changes in resistance. When you, you won't be able to see the bar bending in this, but it does start to deflect a tiny amount and it causes that convolutional wire that's on the bar to either to start to stretch apart as it stretch, stretches apart its resistance will actually change by microscopic amounts and that's what they're measuring on one of these torque wrenches i like that it just starts up in default by a persistence mode so it measures the amount of force that you're putting on it and then holds it it automatically clears after a second here and then it can also Pretty easy to clear and center too. Uh, just do a normal trace mode. And it does show negative when you're going backwards, which I thought was kind of a uh, uh, nice addition. As far as whoop, setting your torque value, you know, these modern ones I was just noticing here, you can have, <laughs> it's hilarious, you can have up to 500 memory positions, which is, of course, totally ridiculous trying to scroll to get the. But it's nice that you can have common values that you store in the memory positions. Once you get used to it, you just press the up and down. There's our memory position. There's our torque value. So 
the minimum torque value, in, at least in inch pounds, is 3.9. If you press and hold the button, it will start scrolling pretty fast. So do like that. Press the memory again, I guess. There we go. Now if we run it up, getting close, orange, and then red. And you can hear that. And to tell you the truth, that was kind of the other thing that attracted me to this was the fact that um, instead of one little LED, it's more like the kind of, they're kind of copying the professional brands where they have turn off the lights. You can see it pretty well, even in that bright light and then under more shop conditions. These LEDs are actually going to be pretty light. The whole case lights up, so it's, you don't have to be seeing the value. You don't have to like have a good angle on the wrench as long as you can make out any kind of um, line of sight to the casing you'll be able to see the lights and so I do appreciate the bright lights and the fact that it vibrates and that's actually something cool it's really easy to use it kind of like the click torque wrenches where you don't even have to see anything at all the only upgrade I could suggest is when it start when you go to the green where you're getting close it should like pulse like vibrate and pulses so that you know you're in the green zone and then go to continuous when you've hit red rather than it just vibrating when you've hit the red value and to clear it you just go to your memory position hold down the m button and it actually will clear the value besides that i like that it has a dedicated units button easy to use five different values here so newton meters foot pounds inch pounds kilogram four centimeters so that's a uh, an even finer measurement than inch pounds and kilogram meter but in inch pounds that's another thing about this is we can get tenth of an inch pound accuracy which is pretty darn good I mean that's pretty fine and when you're in foot pounds mode you actually get hundreds of a foot pound so I think this thing would be great for bicycles and I mean you could use it on computers you know torquing down those some of those CPU sockets that need torque wrenches assembly work that type of stuff I just think for I mean it, it seems decent quality it does just use a 72 tooth ratchet mechanism. It's a swing pulse, so this is the same as like the Pittsburgh Pros and that type of stuff. So not super great. Quick release, so you don't have to worry about like the anvil strength because it's such a low value. And then since it can torque in either direction, you can reverse it. <laughs> not a lot else to say about that. I won't be keeping the case. The case is actually pretty thick and solid to tell you the truth. I mean, this case will protect the wrench. I can tell you that pretty robust clips what annoys me about these cases and then uh, I mean the other reason I took this product is because Vampo sent me a giant 850 foot pound three quarter inch torque wrench so for them sending me that expensive wrench I said I'd and they sent me one of those adjustable open end torque wrenches which is handy anyway appreciate that they include a little six inch extension we know it's chrome vanadium because it has about the deepest and largest roll stamping I've ever seen. And to tell you the truth, I actually kind of like the knurling on the extension. Nonetheless, it annoys me because now you have a case that is twice the size that it needs to be. And is a, just a bit of extra bulk when it comes to digital torque wrenches and the screens. It probably really is advisable to keep the case around but for me it's just a just a little bit annoying how bulky it is so not a lot else to say about this torque wrench at least people at least this weird kind of random it is a random chinese name i mean and i mean just like the other their other brand vanpo but as far as a tool it actually is decent quality it just seems that they're the, uh, this Chinese manufacturer is charging for that quality this time around because 80 bucks for this little quarter inch, you know, no name torque wrench is a bit of money. I mean, you can go on eBay and actually get 
uh, some name brand stuff, Precision Instruments, uh, for 80 bucks. So, even at the sale price of 65 you know, I keep a watch on one of these and find, wait till a used one shows up and try to get it for 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I think that would be the more reasonable price range. Other than that, they do have a uh, interchangeable head version as well as a torque screwdriver version, all based on the same body design. So anyway, that's the story. Some people say I ruined my channel by taking promo products, but I've, I put up 2,500 videos of which, you know, 30 or something or promo products. I'm definitely not ruining my channel and always kind of wanted one of these once again just a a Real precision digital torque wrench. It's just nice when you have something that may call for You know just tiny values just a you know 10 inch pounds 15 inch pounds Especially on modern bikes with all the aluminum and carbon fiber and that type of stuff I mean, the difference between properly tight and not becoming loose and stripping out or breaking some of those tiny fasteners is just inch pounds. And so uh, it's just kind of nice to have one that is just real precise. And once it, it seems like it takes a second to warm up, but once it warms up, I mean, I've been going at it, and even if you go back and forth, it seems to pretty much zero out just about every time sometimes it'll gain just a couple of points but that's like fractions of a percent on the accuracy and once again we have seals there we have like a little seal silicone seal there so that's all i have to really say about it the buttons are a little exposed they do have hard plastic drops over the top of the buttons so the, they're not going to wear out the worst thing is if it catches on something, these little hard drops can actually get torn from the little mushy actual button material they're stuck to. But otherwise, just normal usage, these buttons will hold up. The one thing I'll give them also big criticism for, besides kind of having an overly bulky case, is online it shows as if as you're approaching the torque value that it goes from green to red and it actually starts climbing up like a bar graph as we saw it's just both of them brightly change either all green all orange or all red and so they should update it i thought it would have been cool if they moved up like a bar graph but i can understand why they just do the solid color because it's a little bit easier to see anyway thanks for watching